Hey guys, Mike here. I thought I would do a quick video on some of the Tyrannifex's Turvagons I've got kind of floating around and uh, tell you my thoughts on them and what I've done to kind of do to them to make them a little customized, but still relatively new. I These two models right here are the first two Tyrannifex's, actually the first two uh, models uh, of Tyranids that I've put together. And it was my first attempt at actually trying to magnetize things as well. So uh, bear with me. You guys probably are going to be able to do a much better job and come up with better ideas than me. But uh, hopefully this gives you a few ideas to come off of. Um, this is the first one. It actually is a uh, Tyrannifex model with the uh, or, uh, Turvagon. And uh, what I did is I drilled out that, added a little magnet, and added a magnet on there. That way it all snaps together nice and pretty. I wasn't sure which build I wanted to make, so I wanted to be able to, uh, if I wanted to uh, add or change it to a kind of a crushing claw kind of a feel, I could do that. I'm not, it still gives it flexibility, so when things change up or or different models go different ways, you still have the ability to uh, kind of customize your army. This second one here is a Carnifex conversion. Uh, there's people, plenty of people that show uh, all kinds of them. I kind of hunched them over a little bit more, added the extra little plates on from uh, spare bits. I think this guy in the package comes with two different backs that you can choose from. I used the second back as well as the second head and a bunch of uh, miscellaneous bits underneath there. It's kind of hard to see and some green stuff. And uh, on this model, instead of magnetizing the front, I kind of liked the idea of magnetizing the back ones. I kind of think that that kind of gave it that. that I, I kind of like that look. I, I wish the rest of the model turned out but I did like the way that that back a little, these two claws ready to just come out and strike. I think if I had the bigger leg ones, I would have put them so they come out farther. Might be something that you guys could try to do um, with your kit uh, when you guys try to put it together. And then this is my third one. I did not put the bottom on him. I kind of used him as a trend effects, um, but uh, Put the little spikies and did magnetize the front of him up so that uh, again he can kind of do that um, and then here's you've got the the big weapons that you can kind of snap into place and and work out so that uh, he can be the big gun that you need again um, when you're magnetizing these models are expensive so it's, it's always good to try and um, get as much use rather than glue things together and, and decide, oh, you know what? I really don't like that gun. I want to try a different gun. It's really uh, kind of a uh, good thing to do. Uh, that's not quite wanting to fit in there. It's probably a tighter fit than what I like. I, I kind of the next one that kind of goes into my next point. If you look at this guy, he's got all four legs on the ground and he's kind of hunched more over. I, I kind of, with my first one, I didn't notice it. I leaned him back and see that back tail is on the ground. And then these two legs are on the ground, kind of forming a tripod between the back legs and the tail. And then the front is off the base. So it's kind of rearing up a little bit with the three points. It seemed to, to glue well enough that he hasn't, I haven't had any trouble with him yet falling apart or doing anything but it gives me a little bit more room down here. And so what I'm thinking is on this newest model that I'm gonna be uh, building, I'm gonna lean them back and then I'm also going to throw um, little magnets right here in these three little spots so that I can glue those little spiky bits. Uh, or not glue, uh, magnetize them on. And so that when I want to um, switch it back and forth, I can also throw some little magnets in this and be able to 
kind of maneuver this back behind in there and just snap it on and snap it off. So um, there's a really there's a really good example. Another YouTube guy uh, made up where he's magnetized all kinds of like the whole thing falls, you know, can come apart and come back together. I don't think I'm going to quite go that far. I think on this newest model, it'll be the three little magnets, but I think I might go ahead and magnetize both um, front leg sections just so that uh, I can position those a little bit differently and maybe possibly try to do something like that on the front legs that really kind of an aggressive kind of a look on those especially we got a new codex coming out soon it's going to be a lot of fun so i think i'm going to try to really make my uh, latest model have the ability to do anything i kind of want um, and then i wanted to show you this i got this on ebay recently i'm gonna have to uh get him all painted up and ready to go I, I think just so I can get a chance to kind of use them when uh, I have my Trigon Prime come out of the ground, you're supposed to mark the spot for reserves. I think I'm going to put this in, in the place so that it'd be a lot of fun to mark the spot where my Prime comes out of the ground. Uh, not that I have usually any reserves that come out of it, but uh, it'd be fun kind of to do. That was uh, someone made this themselves. It's not the uh, Forge Word model, uh, and uh, I was able to get that. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them. Hey, please subscribe and uh, make sure to like my page, and uh, I'll try to make some more videos. Uh, I'm going to maybe take some pictures and uh, do a short video on what, me making that to see if I can give you a little bit more in-depth. Thanks a lot, guys.